right, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do some different kinds of, well, uh, linear inequalities in two variables, but they only have one variable because the other one is understood. It's kind of a difficult concept to get your mind around, but you can do it. So here we go. I'm going to graph the inequality y is less than or equal to 2. To do that, I first graph the line, the boundary, y equals 2. Now, I know what y equals 2 looks like. It's a horizontal line going through the point y equals 2. So here we go. And here we go. Here's the line y equals 2. Now I choose a test point, and I'm going to choose 0, 0 because it's the easiest and because uh, the line y equals 2 doesn't go through it. That makes it good, too. So I am going to graph the inequality y is less than or equal to 2 by first choosing a test point, my TP. I'm, well, there is no x, is there, for me to put the x-coordinate into, but there is a y for me to put the y-coordinate into, so I'll put 0 in for y, and that'll be less than or equal to 2. Well, of course, I know that 0 is not equal to 2, but it is definitely less than 2, so this gives me a true answer. So that means that with 0, 0 giving me a true answer, I will shade on the true side. And this is what the inequality y is less than or equal to 2 looks like when I'm drawing it on the x and y axes. All right, now let's look at x is greater than negative 3. All right, I'm going to be using a, a dashed line for this strict inequality, but also there's an understood y there. All right, and up here, there was an understood x. That is, y is held to being less than 2, but x can be anything. Down here, x is held to being only numbers that are greater than negative 3, but y can be anything. Okay? So, first I'm going to graph the line y equals negative 3. And any time you have x equals a number, you have a vertical line. So I'll put a vertical line, but a dashed line, through x equals negative 3. There we go. Now. I've got, I go back to graphing the inequality part. And what? I choose a test point. How about 0, 0? And here, since y can be anything, it can be 0 or anything else, but x uh, for this point is going to be 0. So I will put a 0 in for x, and I'll get 0 is greater than negative 3. And is that true? Well, yeah, it is true. Zero is not greater than positive three, but it is greater than any negative number. So it's greater than negative three. So zero, zero gave me a true, and I'm going to graph in the zero, zero direction. Okay, and I have just graphed the linear inequality in two variables with one of the variables um, 
invisible. We'll call it invisible. Uh, this is the, the graph of the inequality. X is strictly greater than negative 3. Talk to you later.